Don't you just hate it? Don't you just hate it? Hi, this is Lee Brower. Welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here and I am glad to be here. All right, don't you just hate it? Hate what? Imagine with me for a second that your team, who hasn't been to the championship in years, is playing for the championship game. And then you find out you've got a conflict that you absolutely cannot get out of it, so you can't watch it live on TV. So you record it. You're going to record it. But what do you tell everybody when you record it? Do not what? Do not tell me the ending. Do not tell me the outcome. I want to watch it. But let's say that the outcome, somebody in the other room is talking right before you get started, or they unintentionally say, I can't believe that so-and-so won the game. Okay. Now, does that change the way that you watch the game? Yeah, drastically, probably. Instead of yelling and screaming at the umpires or the referees, whichever game you're talking about, instead of getting mad at every call, getting mad at a bad call, going crazy, yes, you still have the emotion, but nothing like if you're watching it live without knowing the ending. And you think about it, this scenario perfectly mirrors our journey through life. As leaders, whether in your family, whether in your business, whether in your community, just like this game, life throws us curveballs, throws us uncertain moments, throws us downright unfair situations. And for some, these, these situations can be debilitating. They can't get over it. They yell and scream, and they're so caught up in what's going wrong. And they lay blame on these things, and it changes and affects them in so many different ways. But what if we were all armed with a deep-seated belief in our ultimate vision? We knew the ending. Having unwavering confidence in your future. What would that do? One, I think it would change drastically how you react to present situations. Think of it like a river. A river winds its way through varied landscapes. Its destination may be the vast ocean. But the river does not have a predetermined blueprint of every twist and turn along the way. It doesn't know every rapid or, or log jam that it's going to encounter. But it flows. In spite of that, it flows with purpose and adaptability. And our life's mission is much the same way. We can have a grand vision laid out with stepping stones and milestones along the way. But the specific course it takes... Each tributary we merge with or obstacle we navigate that were unexpected remains uncertain, but it doesn't dilute the river's essence or deter it from its journey. So in the same way, even if our exact destination in life is a little bit elusive, but we know what the purpose is, we know what the bigger future is, our unwavering belief in the difference that we can make in each bend ensures us that we enrich each every shore that we touch. In essence, it's leadership at its best. Our power lies not in foreseeing every detail of our journey, but embracing the flow, knowing that with every tributary and every milestone, we inch closer to that vast ocean of purpose. Now think about the principle of gratitude for a second. My definition of gratitude is a profound appreciation for the present moment, regardless of its challenges. A profound appreciation for the present moment, regardless of its challenges. When rooted in gratitude, think about it, we approach difficulties not as insurmountable obstacles, but as milestones on a journey. When our vision is supported by faith in a divine progression, faith in a divine progression, it offers peace, solace, self-confidence during even the most challenging times. Not because it changes the reality of the situation, because it doesn't, but because it changes our perspective on it. Having a glimpse of the ending makes the journey bearable. You might say, my vision of the future sustains my present agony. Robert Louis Stevenson said it this way, to travel hopefully is a better thing than to arrive. So in business, in life, in love, in faith, the journey is filled with unknowns, isn't it? But if we hold firm to our faith, our vision, and our sense of purpose, we, in some sense, we know our ending. 
then the bumps in the road are merely part of the journey, not the end of it. Have a meaningful week. Embrace your challenges with the grace of someone who knows the ending. Let your gratitude and your faith be your compass, guiding you through the highs and lows, always pushing you forward towards your vision. With a clear destination in mind, every challenge becomes just another step in your journey. Live life deliberately. We'll talk next week. Have a meaningful week. Bye-bye.